Hi guys, Negativore101 here. Wow, Tony Khan just released a tweet. And everyone is going crazy. There's a reason for that. As you can see the title of this, does AEW have diversity issues? Okay, we're gonna get into this show. We're gonna get into this. Twitter, Instagram, made to place you're gonna find me. If you want to donate to the channel, Cash App, Legend of All 101 as well, across all my platforms. And like, share, subscribe. If you wanna like the content, if you like the channel, press the notification bell as well, say it to all so I'm in your inbox all day, every day. And put the comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys think about this because AEW's on the fire right now. Tony Khan put himself in the fire right now. My gosh, if I was him, I would not even said anything about this. But whew, all right, let's read what Big Swole had to say because I think she literally released a statement about diversity issues because she was watching it resign with the uh, company AEW. So let's coinbot.com. Let's see what Big Swole had to say. Da, 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 da. Let's go to this show. Let's do it. So let's see, she has here, who wrote this? Matthew, I've got, uh, I posted this on comicbook.com. So it says, not too long ago, it was revealed that Big Swole and AEW were parting ways. With Swole choosing not to resign with the company on the most recent episode of Swole World, it's her channel or something she has, or podcast. So went into a bit more detail as to why she decided not to resign. And during the episode, she also addressed two big issues with AEW currently and how it functions. Oh, snap. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, uh, let's keep reading. Saul said the two biggest issues with AEW at the moment are lack of structure and lack of diversity. Hmm. Uh, lack of diversity. Yes. Uh, it's a, I think she means like lack of black diversity. I think that's what she means. <laughs> that, that can roll with on, on that side of it. In terms of like pushing the black stars. Scorpio Sky is literally doing nothing. He's just literally in the spotlight, just talking right now. He's not doing anything in the ring. He's kind of like a, a, a non-factor in the AW. Uh, Hobbs, he's another non-factor. He ain't doing much. So technically those are the two real like Lee Moriarty's kind of getting a little mini push right now but in terms of black excellence in that company yes yeah, not very much in terms of that because the rest is a good bit um because Sky was getting a massive push like the start of AEW and that's then he fell off Hobbs got a little, a little push as well when he joined Team Taz then fell off Lee Moriarty's getting a mini push now but how long is it going to be until he falls off as well so that's, they've kind of got a problem in that respect because you've got Kenny pushing the Japanese wrestlers then you know what I mean but yeah it's, it's kind of a little problem but and AEW is still quite new so I'll give them I'll give them leeway in that, in that respect because Vince he has <sighs> Vince he has no excuse 20, 20, 20 2021 now he's pushing black wrestlers but sure anywho let's get back to AEW um Vince is a bigger culprit than Tony Khan, that's for damn sure. Um, this is going to cause a lot of problems now, after what he said after this. So I'm just going to finish this off, what Swat has to say. So, and regarding the second point, she tells the story about her daughter bringing attention to the lack of diversity on television. Okay, so she's listening to her daughter. She's probably saying, Mommy, Daddy, why are there no black champions on the show? Um, first, she talked about the talk she had with Tony Khan in her exit interview. This is what she had to say. So I explained to TK that I didn't want to resign because my peace was being disrupted. Oh snap, a peace. If anybody knows me or knows myself, if anything has disrupted your peace, it's time to let it go, Swell said. You might be scared or be hard, but it's time to let it go. Kane said that it was circle, circle coming to an end. Was Kenny and I would bump heads sometimes throughout my time in AW. Oh snap, she had problems with Kenny. Kenny in that Japanese push. I understand that for a start. She ain't going nowhere though. Japanese field division. Especially when Kenny had it. My gosh, Riho was getting 
uber pushed rocket <laughs> rocket pack to the back um but yeah big swole the big swole is a wrestler she isn't that good in my eyes she's not that like she's okay but you know what i'm saying in terms of championship material nah not yet she was she was on her way though she was kind of like slowly getting better before she left but in terms of like because she was still pretty green in that ring and, and the time she's been out there wrestling it was kind of weird to me how green she still was but let's continue okay my hands are there. to end it on that note felt good it felt wonderful to end it at a place where we didn't see eye to eye but we were there so she butt heads with kenny <sighs> kenny lead the women's division yeah so when talked about issues with the internal structure and the slow development and lack of tv time for the women's division okay so she went to women's, women's division a bit now my heart just stopped being in it as a reason why I left AEW. I felt like there was a lot of things and I told them in my exit interview. There are lots of things that I need to change, Swole said. I know fans of the company don't take criticism well sometimes, certain ones. Know this, this is somebody from the inside. The structure is a little off. It's fine to be loose, but I like to have a little bit more structure. I felt like the women should have gone through everything they went through just to get on TV or get time. You're, you're signed to this big company, you should get time. All these men are getting time, but the women weren't getting anything more. You're not putting people on TV because more people are coming in. Okay, there are more people coming in, but you don't have enough product for all these people. Now you have all these people sitting around having two or three minute matches on dark. Doesn't keep me happy. Shoving more money doesn't keep a person happy. We've seen this time and time again, especially in a place where there's not enough space. <clears throat> WWE. Uh, there's no right in a sense. Not everything is comfortable writing their own things. Closed mouths don't get fed. That's exactly what, what that environment is. If you are shy and don't know how to write or are not creative, it's not going to work unless they want it to work for you. That's one of the biggest issues. Oh, snap. So I said, damn, okay. Okay, all right, let's read this. Okay, she's about to get deep now. Let's Let's get into this. Swole then talked about diversity within the company, both in terms of decision makers and featured stars. Okay, so let's see what she says about it. Outside of lack of structure, their biggest issue, which is diversity. Oh no. It's about to, it's about to get savage. Alright, here we go. I do not be around the bush when it comes to diversity and my people. Okay, black issues now, black lives matter, let's go. There is no representation truly in when there is. It does not come across in black community as genuine at all. I don't know why everybody's so afraid to accept it or say it, but it's not a good look. What happens is you have this wonderful company that treats people like family, but there's nobody that looks like me that is represented at the top and in the room with them. They're not helping to necessarily influence decisions, but to explain why certain slang and certain words should not be said. There's no one else who can explain that culture experience except for us, Swole said. Okay, uh, there's problems with that as well, but I'm just going to keep reading. I knew something was up with my daughter who loves res watching wrestling. She would watch AEW all the time and suddenly watch WWE. She's not a big fan unless Dad, Cedric Alexander, was on TV, which stopped happening after they watched the Hurt Business. Yeah, that Hurt Business thing was horrible. My gosh, this one, man, you are a joke. But let's keep reading on. She would say, Mommy, there's nobody that looks like me on AEW. There's nobody that looks like Daddy. Then she started watching WB because she saw Bianca and Big E. Ah, uh, so yeah, he literally just did start doing that. So, yeah, that's yeah, that's not a good argument against AEW, to be honest. WB took flipping decades to get this done. She saw herself represented, and if that wasn't a click, you're absolutely right. I don't have an explanation, it's 2021. Why are people saying it'll take three years for AEW to have a black champ? This is a scripted sport. It should not take that long if you have been watching WWE for 50 plus years and you know what not to do. That's what I said. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah, if you watch WWE, you know exactly what not to do. They are the complete flipping opposite of what should not be done. What should be done, I should say. Uh, so let's see. Let's see how long this is. Look, hold on. This is, this is really long. Okay, so it's almost finished. It's the last bit. So Swole said that AEW is making strides in these areas and she wants nothing but success for them but she still feels issues should be brought to attention. I believe that the company is making better strides than before but a couple of things need to be fixed. You have to be able to call people out because not everything is perfect. I 
hope they listen to this with an open heart and not just ah she's just saying this because of x y z i genuinely want them to succeed i love this art form i love wrestling i want to succeed and to want people to succeed if they're genuine people i want w to succeed i'm sure she wants wwe to succeed oh snap i want wrestling to flourish and i don't want to be a long forgotten Tartarian sport when you know, in the old days we used to wrestle on this folklore. Right, nothing but the best, but also want to change an application to happen. The promises you made to be diverse, I want to see that. Not just with black people, I would love to see a Latina or Hispanic or more Asians. I feel like Asians and Indians do not get the love. They just don't. It's such a big gap. I hate the fact that I turn the TV and it's the same stuff over and over again. Hopefully, we get the message. Me leaving honestly was not bad. There's no bad blood between TK and I. I just don't like my peace being disrupted. I didn't like certain things and other things that I will take to my grave. The diversity, that's what matters. Swole said, oh snap, okay. Show, sure, show, sure, show, sure, show. Sure. Okay. So that was a lot to unpack. She talks about her people. Her people, the black community. She talks about Latinos, Asians, of all kinds. Okay. Where do I begin? Uh, so, the years thing with AEW. It would take a couple of years for diversity to set in. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's, that's a tired excuse to me, as well, my as It's a scripted sport. Yes, we know this. It's real, but scripted. So they could literally can make anyone a champion if they felt the need to do so. You had Jericho as champ, Moxley as champ. You had Kenny Omega as champ. You just had Adam Page as champ. TNT champions, Brody Lee, Cody Rhodes, Sammy Guevara, Miro. Okay, okay, okay. Tag champs. I mean, I'm sure, don't speak the top of my head. Young Bucks. Uh, I think eight. Uh, ATR, I think that, were they, were they champs? FTR, I mean, were they champs? F FTR, yeah, I think they were champions, FTR. Uh, Lucha Bros. Lucha Bros. Mexican Kings. Okay, yeah, they've been champions. Um, but, yeah. Got the Lucha, the Lucha Brothers in there. You got my boy Penta. With his little bro, Phoenix. It's a little diversity in there, yeah, yeah, they got some, they got, they got some good diversity in that division. But, um, in terms of getting the push though, it's kind of tough. You got, uh, when was the vision? You got Shida, Riho, in terms of there, you know what I'm saying? You got Shida, Riho, being champs. Nile Rose in there, you got that little LGBTQ thing going on over there. Um, got Britt Baker as champion, so. So it looks like they're gonna push Jade. They're gonna they're gonna have that Jade factor, you know. You know Jade, Jade looks built as it's massive. I love what they did with Jade. That's how you build up a, a a diverse character like Jade. Huge push, and she's still green, I know. But Jade, they've kind of held held off on her at a certain point. She might not even win because she's got Ruby so hard to fight in the, the final. But. Even if Jade doesn't win, they'd have built Jade up very well. And if they don't let her win the title, then they can kind of keep her strong until that point where she just, she just goes off. So I love what TK did with Jade. That's that's a plus. That's a that's a thumbs up. Jade, thumbs up. But um, Hobbs and Scorpio Sky. Ugh. Oh, what have they, what TK done with those guys? Hobbs was hot at one point. Scorpio Sky was hot at one point. They just he just made them fall off. What the heck happened? But yeah, um, yeah, there is a black. You know what I'm saying? Because you got all these white wrestlers coming. You got my boy. You got my flipping. Hey, don't get me wrong. They're my boys. Adam Cole. You got flipping on dispute. You got Red Dragon up in here. Um. Daniel, we got Brian Danielson up in here. Just, you got CM Punk. 
how do <laughs> that's the problem that's the problem people are talking about you bringing all these guys in here how the hell is Hobbs supposed to rise up or Scorpio's <sighs> Lee Moriarty they're not good they're, 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 it's going to be tough for them they've got to find the big boys down they're going to get pushed to the wayside you got monsters like them in the, on your roster how are they going to how are the diverse wrestlers going to fare against them they're not going to do any damn thing about it so I get what she says because it's becoming a problem. She literally predicted this. People are coming in. People, the diverse is starting to lose. Starting to do this. First was diverse. Was, first was doing this. Diverse kind of. <sighs> they start doing this. So I'm with small on that in that respect. These the new people coming in. Great wrestlers as they are. White though. Or white though. That's the that's a pro, it's become a problem. That's where it becomes a problem. It's in the sea of white, and then the blacks just like start doing this, and that's that's. And WWE is capitalizing on that using the Lashley Biggies of the world, Bianca Belair, Sasha. This is where they're cashing in on what AEW is not doing, and they have to be, AEW has to be very careful of that. I'm still on board with AEW. Don't get me wrong. I'm still on board with AEW. They have a chance to rectify this because I'm giving them a shot still. But yes, we have to be careful. Um, but Swole, yeah, Swole went, yeah. Lack of diverse, that, that diversity card. <sighs> to be honest, she had a good role. She had a good run in that company. She was like two, she was number one ranked for the longest time. She went two to three, then like, by the time she left, she was like number three ranked or something like that. So she was still in good standing in terms of ranking in the company. So she easily could have, crept back up there at some point but um yeah obviously got the sour grapes because not getting pushed to some point. obviously Britt Baker took off at that point she couldn't she had the fight where beat Britt Baker and she never clawed it back you know what I'm saying she beat Britt Baker one of the few people in the company who have done it who have literally got a winning record against her but yeah 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 big swatch kick getting further further back and I was like oh what's that but yeah, let's see what TK had to say. This is the this is the rebuttal. This is where it's where it gets juicy. TK, clap back. Let's check this out. Tony Khan says this because he literally spied to apply to Big Swole and he goes the top two at AEW execs are Brown, me and Mega. Jade, Bowens cast a Dante, Nyla, Isaiah, and Mark Quinn all won on TV this month. The TBS title tournament has been very diverse. I let Source contract expire as I felt her wrestling wasn't good enough. This, this guy, bro, what the heck have you done? My top two AEW execs are Brown, me and Mega, J Bound, oh. Oh. I let Swole's contract expire as I felt her wrestling wasn't good enough. Far. Oh. oh snap, TK, you went too far, bro. This guy said he wrestling wasn't good enough. Oh, he put these stuff that in there, bro. He was like, Yeah, we, we have diverse people, but you were trash. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she should have done that last bit, that last jab, bro. You should have you should even addressed this issue. You should even address this issue. You should, you should just let that, let that disappear, bro. You got Jade on the horizon. Come on, man. You got Jade on the horizon. That would have backed you up, man. Anyways, bro. You blew up. That's a. You built up a, a, a woman with this much, like literally this much fanfare, this much protection. You protected Jade like a star that she is. One day, the returns are going to be massive. She's going to be, she's going to be huge from a mega star. 
but you should not have said nothing, bro. You should have went him. You should have kept quiet, TK, bro. I want, I want you to succeed, but bro, don't be bringing out no wins on this month for the head, bro. Don't be bringing out these little small wins on dark and elevation and that, bro. Stop it, bro. <sighs> Swole is trash. That's basically what you said, TK. Swole is trash, anyways. I know contract expired. She garbage. She out here now. She out the street. Oh no, fuck. Oh. This guy, TK is ruthless. TK is ruthless. He out here putting snipers on everybody out here, bro. Uh, yeah, but tell me, you guys, think in the comment section down below, yo, because this. I read this and I was like. And people's responses. Let me find. Let me just look at the responses real quick. Look at these responses to this, bro. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> God, shut the fuck up! Bro. Damn. Damn, people out here. Oh, snap, oh, 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 this comment section is going to be good. <laughs> TK isn't wrong about the diversity, kind of like the Latino tag champ, Sami was just a TNT champ. Sky was the first tag champ, Jason, the T-Best, and Magic are the most played to on the roster, Fonda Rose is the biggest face right now. That's, that's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. TK is doing his job with Jade, especially Jade. Especially Jade in terms of black, black movement. Especially Jade. But yeah, that <laughs> TK, TK messed up. Oh, TK messed up, bro. Oh, TK, bro. No, TK, no, please. Smoke or Smoke came out of his business structure. He was like, the business structure, you, your, your resting structure, trash. <laughs> <laughs> TK was like, you're coming at my, coming at me, bro. I'm coming at your head. So, oh, snap, yes. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah she, he should have said nothing about this. This is going to look bad. He's going to look bad. Hey, uh, if someone says that about you, just don't, don't shake it off. But if it's your business guy, just, just do this, bro. Just whatever, bro. Just, you show it in your work and what you do on TV, what you put on TV, what you put out. You should have said nothing about this lady just ride off like that. If you want to talk about it, look, the internet, do, do what the hell she wants. So that's fine by me, bro. I'm pushing Jade. I'm pushing the like, Will Hobbs. I'm pushing the like, Scorpio Sky. I'm pushing the flipping Lee Moriarty. I'm flipping, I'm pushing the flipping Dante. I'm pushing the flipping Leo Rush. I couldn't see that's the thing you could have been doing. Slowly building up to that. You could have been doing this on the side, bro. You got Jade up in here. Jade's good. <sighs> TK bro, you opened your mouth, bro. That mouth's gonna get you in trouble when he's dead, bro. He's to stop. He's to stop. He's to stop, bro. The AEW's on. AEW's on the upward trajectory. Stop talking, my guy. Stop talking nonsense. Stop it, bro. We love you, TK. We love AEW. But stop it, bro. Stop talking, bro. Just, just do the work. Just do the work, bro. Just do the work, bro. Just, just, that's what we want. Don't, don't worry about small. Don't worry about anybody else. Let's do what needs to be done to get the show popping. You know, obviously you gotta go after diversity, bro. Hey. We got diversity going, clicking right now. We got diversity clicking. I'll make it tight. Make, make the stuff tight, you know? I stop these damn tag matches. These tag matches are killing me. There's too many tam tag matches on the show. Let's get some one-on-ones -on -ones up in this. Flipping heck. But anyways, uh, TK, if you, if you hear this or even see this, I'm still with you, AW, for the win. Number one company in the world uh, right now. Uh, but yeah, diversity is doing well. It's doing well so far. I'm back in that Jade push. I'm back in that Jade push. Let's get Hobbs up in here. Let's get Hobbs out here. Scott, this guy's Scott, kind of an air for me. So get Hobbs. Get Hobbs on that that win streak, bro. Get his, get him with the title hunt. Get him with the title picture, bro. Come on, T TBS title push. Let's go, bro. I mean, TNT title push. Let's go. Um, but yeah, that's me done. As I said before, put comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you guys think about this AEW diversity issue type of thing. But uh, yeah, am I tripping? Am I am I wrong to be defending Tony Khan? Am I wrong? Because I'm, I'm 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 literally 
and small side too. I can see it, the, the, the diversity issues. I see it. I saw it. I still see it. Hobbs, Sky. It's, it's blatantly obvious. There is an issue there. Because where's the next black male champion going to come from? They, right now, it looks a long way away, especially with the new talent coming in. Heck nah. I see it coming in 20, 2030. So I see it, bro. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I swallow this have a point as well. But at the same time, she just literally did. she just literally buried Tony Khan at the same time now after someone made it number one ranked, bro. The longest time. And they just She kinda of, she kinda of went in on the flipping business business model, bro, and you don't do that to a flipping a business owner, you just just buried it like that, bro. She just said, Yeah, uh it didn't work out, I'm moving on, bro. She oh, she's out here burying guys, bro. But yeah, this is my take. <sighs> Twitter, Instagram, Cash App, Legend of All 101. If you donate to the channel or hit me up, um, like, share, subscribe if you love the content, love the issues, reaction, reviews. Yeah, so if you are there, nice, stay safe out here in these streets. It's Legend of All 101 signing out. Peace.